good morning i am dr r krishnan assistant professor pg and research department of microbiology today i am going to present the topic on antimicrobial resistance first is objectives here we are going to see what is antimicrobial resistance why antimicrobial resistance is concerned how antimicrobial works mechanism in resistance against antimicrobials and summary and conclusion first you got to see about the history of antimicrobial resistance in 1950 to 1970 represent the golden age of antibiotic discovery where countless new classes of antibiotics were discovered to treat previously incurable diseases such as tuberculosis and syphilis penicillin was successfully in controlling bacterial infections among world war to soldiers however since the time the discovery of new classes of antibiotics has been almost non existent and represent a situation that is especially problematic considering the resistance of bacteria shown over time and the continued misuse of and overuse of antibiotics in treatment here the generation of antibiotics the generation terms comes to penicillin and uh, cephalosporin they are called beta lactam antibiotics and uh, depending on their action on the cell wall of gram positive and gram negative bacteria they are classified into two types one is broad spectrum and second is called uh, narrow spectrum here the first generation antibiotics they have a narrow spectrum activity good for gram positive bacteria used for treat throat infections most of the pathogens produce resistance against penicillin drug using penicillinase enzyme that they produce second generation antibiotics have an intermediate activity against gram positive bacteria and gram negative bacteria the third generation antibiotics have broad spectrum activity against gram positive and gram negative bacteria and fourth and fifth generation is not usually resistant to penicillinase antibiotics and have broad spectrum types here the image shows the development of antibiotics on different time period first is introduction the antimicrobial resistant is one of the most serious public health threat of 21st century throughout history there has been a continual battle between human being and multiple organisms that cause infections and die- diseases here the image shows the antimicrobial resistance against drugs mutation treatment spread antimicrobial agent bacteria like that this antimicrobial resistance can be shortly called as amr occurs when bacteria virus fungi and parasites change over time and no longer responds to medicines making infections harder to treat and increasing the risk of disease spread and severe illness and death so what is see what is antimicrobial agent so this antimicrobial agent can be divided into groups based on the mechanism of antimicrobial activity number 1 agent that inhibits cell wall synthesis example penicillin second depolarize the cell membrane example penicillin third is inhibit protein synthesis example tetracycline fourth is inhibit nucleic acid synthesis example ciprofloxacin fifth is inhibit metabolic pathways in bacteria example of the antibiotic sulfonamides next most pathogenic microorganisms have the capability of uh, developing resistance to at least some antimicrobial agent what are the factors will be contributing to antimicrobial resistance one is environmental factor drug related factor patient related factor and physician related factors first is environmental factors because here is a huge population and overcrowding then rapid spreading poor sanitation increased community acquired resistance ineffective infection control program increased national and international travels second is drug related factor 
called fake drug the quality of the drug soaring use of antibiotics over the counter availability of antimicrobials substandard drug suboptimal blood concentration third is patient related factor here is poverty lack of sanitation concept lack of education self medication fourth is physician related factor there is inappropriate use of available drugs over use of antimicrobial inadequate dosing so which microbes evolve antimicrobial resistance all classes of microbes can evolve resistant example fungi virus protozoa bacteria so why antimicrobial resistant a global concern the emergence and spread of drug resistant pathogens that have a new resistance mechanism leading to antimicrobial resistance continues to threaten our ability to treat common infections the clinical pipeline of new antimicrobial resistance is dry in 2019 world health organization identified 32 antibiotics in clinical development that addresses the world health organization list of priority pathogens of which only 6 were classified as innovative so antibiotics are becoming increasingly ineffective as drug resistance spreads globally leading to more difficult to treat infections and death new antibiotics are urgently needed for example to treat carbonimum resistant gram negative bacterial infection as identified in the world priority pathogen list however if people do not change the way antibiotics are used now this new antibiotics will suffer the same fate as the current one and becomes ineffective so next is bacterial static with bactericidal static antibiotics include chloramphenicol and tetracycline cidal antibiotics include aminoglycosides beta lactam vancomycin quinolones and rifampicin so here the types of antimicrobial resistance it can be of two type one is called intrinsic antimicrobial resistance and second is called acquired antimicrobial resistance the mechanism of antimicrobial resistance by intrinsic resistance fa- factor bacteria develop other antimicrobial resistance by several mechanisms so one is limiting uptake of a drug modification of drug target inactivation of a drug active efflux of a drug so limiting uptake of a drug there is a natural difference in the ability of bacteria to limit the uptake of antimicrobial antimicrobial agents certain bacteria modify their cell membrane porin channels example staphylococcus aureus recently developed resistance to vancomycin modification of a drug target a change in the number of pps impact the amount of drug that can bind to the target a change in structure may decrease ability of the drug to bind or totally inhibit drug binding this mechanisms interfere with ability of the drug to bind to the ribosomes inactivation of a drug there are certain main ways in which bacteria inactivate drug by actual degradation of a drug transfer of a chemical group to the drug so actual degradation of a drug the lactamase or a very large group of drug hydrolyzing enzymes so another drug that can be inactivated by hydrolyzation of tetracycline via the text gene then uh, next is transfer of a chemical group to the drug the second con- concept is acquired resistance where a natural susceptible microorganisms acquired way of not being activated by the drug mechanism of acquired resistance here the bacterial drug acquired genetic material by transformation and transposition and uh, conjugation drug resistance in bacteria recently for common bacterial infection including urinary tract infection sepsis sexually transmitted infection and some form of diarrhea high rate of resistance against antibiotic were developed by pathogens example e coli klebsiella staph aureus and aziria gonorrhea and re- drug resistance in mycobacterium tuberculosis so uh, the antibiotic resistant mycobacterium tuberculosis strains or uh, treating progress in containing the global tuberculosis epidemic drug resistant in viruses so anti drug viral resistant is an increasing concern in immunocompromised patient populations 
resistance has developed to most antiviral including antiretroviral drugs drug resistant in malarial parasites the emergence of drug resistant parasites poses one of the greatest threat to malaria control and result in increased malaria morbidity and mortality then drug resistance in fungi the prevalence of drug resistant fungal infection is increasing and very difficult to treat so many fungal infections have been treatability issues such as toxicity especially for patient with other underlying infection example hiv the drug resistant candida albicans is one of the most common invasive fungal infection is already widespread with increasing resistance reported to fluconazole aflatoxin b and uh, oriconazole the world antimicrobial awareness week was previously called world antibiotic awareness week since 2020 it has been called world antimicrobial awareness week this reflects the broadened scope of world antimicrobial awareness week to include all antimicrobials including antibacterial antifungal antiparasitic and antiviral so this world awareness week is a global campaign that aims to raise awareness of antimicrobial resistance worldwide and encourage best practices among the general public health workers and policy makers to slow the development of spread of drug resistant infections summary and conclusion clinical guidance direct education and regular report over antibiograms may contribute to more prudent use of antibiotics the problem of antibiotic resistance is global however measures need to be taken at an individual institutional and ultimately at national health care no single action or action or initiative by a single country would be able to achieve this it requires participation and support from all levels political medical veterinary agriculture environmental academic industry and the general public it is clear that there is political engagement with this issue and may differ bodies are considering potential options to tackle it thank you